An I team investigation reveals critical race theory, also known as CRT, presented to local students. CRT is a divisive subject. As I team investigator Jeff Stahl reports, the Desert Sands Unified School District admits some recent lessons at La Quinta High School were out of bounds. It seemed like it was going to touch on some touchy subjects. This La Quinta High School student says she was subjected to a week's worth of critical race theory instruction in her English class, something the district says it doesn't teach. Now, responding to the I team, the school says the lesson was not approved curriculum. The check your privilege part, the checklist, like this one. We are not showing her face and modified her voice, but she is willing to talk about this on the record. Here's one slide students were shown in class. Check your privilege. It states that people who are white, male, Christian, cisgender, able-bodied, or heterosexual have, quote, privilege. This University of San Francisco presentation defines privilege as unearned access to social power. Well, when the whole class turns and look at you, looks at you because you're one of the only white kids in the class. It... There are significant disagreements, even among experts, about CRT's precise definition. The California School Boards Association says CRT states racism is embedded in American systems and institutions and part of everyday life. Other scholars and parents criticize, though, the emphasis that CRT puts on race as opposed to economic class or other factors. They say CRT was developed by left-leaning legal scholars, some of whom were neo-Marxist. Your job as students who are receiving an education is to be aware of your privilege. And students you viewed this video and other presentations during a week of instruction. I don't think we actually learned anything from this. It just... It was like reading off a list of things that we should all, not all, but things that people should be guilty for, and then the lesson was over. Teaching somebody that, we, that there was racism in this country is one thing. Teaching somebody that because of this criteria, they are oppressors, and because if you don't have this criteria, you are oppressed. I think that's wrong. We asked the Desert Sands Unified School District for an explanation. A spokesperson replied with written responses, admitting the teacher had potentially presented a biased position. And the administration addressed the situation and determined that the lesson was not in alignment with the district adopted curriculum. And actions are being taken to rectify the situation. What did the district determine as to the bias? Was it or was it not? I think what you just read was pretty accurate. Okay, so you can't say if it was or wasn't? Correct. We brought our questions to Principal Rudy Wilson. Or what or were corrective actions taken? As a general staff, the correct answer is we address the issue. The one thing that we don't do here at La Quinta High School and we don't do within Desert Sands is we are not teaching critical race theory. Another question, did the school notify parents? And if not, why not? I think this was all handled in-house as it should be. We shared the district's statement with the student's family. We never heard anything from the district about that lesson until you just said that. Were you or anybody else in the class ever notified? of the district's actions to rectify the situation. After this lesson, it was basically never spoken of again. Wilson admits it was a missed opportunity, but staff was reminded to avoid controversial subjects because they're hard to defend. It was an incident that was dealt with, and I think it could have been, well, it clearly should have been handled in a different manner. Wilson says this was a one-off lesson, well intended, but clearly outside the district-supported guidelines. But I promise you this, um, had the family come in, it would have been resolved in the moment and that child would have felt supported. The grades, A's in this case, are still on that student's report card. More than 30 state legislatures, California not included, have introduced or passed legislation to ban critical race theory in classrooms and parents and staffers are seeking more information on it, some in support, some against it. For the I-Team, Jeff Stahl, News Channel 3.
So what can parents do to find out more about the curriculum in local schools? You can go online and see what is approved curriculum. Parents also say check your students' assignments, often available to see on their computers. You can hear more of what Looking to High School's principal said in our complete iTeam interview. See the exact lessons students were assigned, approve curriculum links from our local districts, and read more about what exactly CRT is online right now at KESQ.com.